Hey, welcome back to Mind Pump TV. You're about to see a clip of Dr. Rand answering questions revolving around hormones and testosterone and health. If you wanna see if you're a candidate for this, whether you're male or female, head over to mphormones.com, fill out their questionnaire, see if hormone therapy is right for you. All right, enjoy this video. Hi, I'm Dr. Rand McLean, and I'm a doctor of regenerative and sports medicine. And I've been asked to talk about the different mechanisms by which you can use therapy, the, the different delivery mechanisms. One way is oral therapy. And oral therapy, I would argue, has received a, a, a bad rap because of initially using uh, methylated testosterone, which is designed to not be able to be broken down very quickly so that you don't have to dose yourself as frequently, but as a byproduct, the liver, which is continually trying to break it down, has to work harder in the argument that is that that puts a strain on the liver. Methylated testosterone is rarely used anymore, although it can still be used in, in low dose uh, for females because of the low dose without risk of, of damaging the liver. Uh, but oral dosing is a possibility. Uh, a lot of anabolic steroids only have the oral dose as, as an option and we have had no cases of properly used anabolic steroids causing liver damage that I'm aware of. Again, properly dosed, and arguably some of the improperly dosed anabolic steroids, uh, there are caveats to their being considered uh, uh, damaging to the liver. The other two forms of therapy are a cream or a gel therapy, and a topical therapy uh, that's applied typically daily. And with men, in my experience, the therapy, the, the therapeutic result is not as good as the injectable, an esterified form of testosterone, a time-released form of testosterone. In females, however, there seems to be no difference in outcome as to whether uh, a, a topical uh, derivative is used or an injectable, other than preference and, and time each day. With a, a cream or gel, typically you're gonna uh, apply it and wait about five minutes for it to dry, and then another 25 minutes for it to be absorbed before you can go about your business, take a shower, exercise, swim, and that has to be performed daily. Uh, there are other some restrictions uh, attached to that because if you have children, for example, uh, young children that might wanna sit on your lap uh, or climb into bed with mom and dad, uh, you risk uh, cross-contamination because uh, typically the application areas are inner thighs or abdomen, and uh, you know there can be um, uh, contamination that occurs. You know if you apply it nightly in bed, and if the child climbs in during during uh, nighttime or the next uh, morning, obviously there can be some some risk of contamination. So um, we have the other option of using an injectable. With men, there's a clear difference in outcomes between uh, topical formulations and injectable. For whatever reason, um, whether it be that the uh, dose required is much higher or that not as much is absorbed, again, because of the dose it, it, that, that is required. Men typically do much better using an injectable form or, again, a sterified time-release form of testosterone. Typically, just once a week is sufficient for the average male. And whether you're male or female, that can provide uh, some relief if you know you only have to dose yourself once a week. So, so those are the options in terms of delivery systems for testosterone replacement therapy. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you wanna see if you're a candidate, don't forget you can head over to mphormones.com, answer some questions and see if hormone replacement therapy is right for you.